In this video, we're going to write a C program to add together two numbers that have been provided from user input. The first thing we'll do is declare three variables to store the two numbers and the sum. So first we'll have int for the type of the variables. Int will allow us to store integer numbers. Next we'll name the first variable number one. Then we'll have comma to declare a second int variable and we'll name that variable number two. Then another comma for the third variable and we'll name this variable sum. Next, we'll use the printf function to prompt the user to enter in number one. So we'll have printf and then number one inside these quotes here. So this here is what's called a string, specifically a string literal. And what we're doing is passing that to the printf function as an argument to tell it to print out number one colon to the console. Next, we'll use scanf to store the number that the user enters into the number one variable. So we'll have scanf percent d in a string literal as the first argument, and then and number one as the second argument. So this string literal here is telling scanf what to expect. And percent d means expect an integer value to be input. The second argument here is where we're going to store the integer that's entered. We put the and here to actually pass in the memory address of number one. Scanf uses something called pass by pointer or sometimes pass by reference to store the number entered into this number one variable. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in number two. So we'll have printf number two colon. And then again, we'll use scanf in the exact same way to store the integer that's entered into the number two variable. So we'll have comma and number two. Next, we'll compute the sum and store it into the sum variable. So we'll have sum is equal to number one plus number two. So this is an assignment here and we're going to assign the result of adding together number one and number two to the sum variable. Next, we use a printf to output the sum. So we'll have printf sum colon percent d backslash n and then sum. So here we're supplying printf again with a string literal as the first argument and the percent d means expect an integer value to be provided as the next argument after this one. The backslash n here means output a new line after you've output this text here. And we're providing sum here as the second argument, and the value stored in sum is going to be output here. We call this percent %d a placeholder. So we can save, compile, and run our program. And we'll enter in, let's say, 5 for number 1 and 3 for number 2. And we get a sum of 8, which is correct. So the program is working. Now, one thing we could do is change the type. So right now we're using int for the variable type and int will allow us to store numbers with no decimal place. So whole numbers like negative five or 10, but we can't store numbers like 5.25, real numbers we call them. So we could use a double type instead. Here I'm gonna put double instead of int. Now I'm gonna to have to also modify the placeholders used in scanf and printf because those placeholders, percent %d, are used for ints. For scanf, we're going to have lf instead, so we'll also replace it here. And then for printf, we're going to have %f. And those are the placeholders we use with scanf and printf when working with doubles. So we can save, compile, and run the program. And this time we'll enter in maybe 5.25 and 2.5, and we get back 7.75 as the sum. So if we want our program to be able to handle numbers with decimal places, we can use the double type instead of int. So this is how we can write a C program to add together two numbers that have been provided from user input. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.